It's a special moment for a father when a son thinks about following in his footsteps. For our old friend Dave the Verminator, that time has come for him and his son Matthew. We're looking for the run and the mole travels. Dave is going to teach his son not to make a mountain out of a molehill. I've had a go before, but he's, te cool. he's teaching me teaching me how to do it properly now. I enjoy it. It's good fun. All that burrowing by moles can cause serious problems. Right, see the runs going across there. Just one of them traps. Uh. Dave knows the enemy. And they always want to spring it. So the mole comes along and misses it, then you've got another visit. It's not the sort of thing you study at university. You can pick up so much from books and people telling you, but once you start doing it, that's when you proper start learning. It's like learning to drive a car. You don't really learn until you get out there on your own sort of thing. So. Right. Dave, like any general, is an expert on terrain. It doesn't look like there's many moles here, mainly because there's sheep stamping about all over it all the time. So, I mean, there's one down there, you see, there's just one. See the mole hill? But what you want to look for is a, is a fresh one. New mole hills are not the same as old mole hills. See, it was tipping down the rain till about eight o'clock this morning. You see that, that ain't had a drop of rain on it. So you can tell that that's come up in the last couple of hours. Have a route around in there and see if you can find a run in that one. Matthew finds it's not as easy as it looks. And it goes one way. Then, it, can't, it can't only go one way. Well, it can, because it is. Dave lends a helping hand. All right, there you go. See, he's running that way. And there. Matthew's not always been impressed by his father's expertise. I remember when I was a little kid going out doing moles and rats and that when, when I was little. Matthew's future might lie in pest control, but it might not. It's a good job, but I don't know whether I'd be able to take it on as a job or not in this day and age. <laughs> right, onward. See if you can find the next one. Dave is secretly flattered that his son might want to follow him. I've never pushed him. He, 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 it's up to him. If he wants to do it, then he'll make his own mind up. And you know, Matthew might make it. What did you do? He put on the post. There you go. We're getting there, then. Dave decides that what they really need is a bit of competition. We've got to remember who, who put which traps in so we can know who's caught what. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the Cotswolds, pest controller Dave is giving the second lesson of the day to his son Matthew, getting on top of insects. It's the old friend cluster flies that come out in the autumn, overwinter in your roof spaces. This is a new one. If you think flies are just flies, you've not come across cluster flies. You can see, once you start looking around, you see them? See, yeah, there's, yeah. there's plenty all over the walls, all up under the purlins there. The main problem about cluster flies is that they cluster. There will be thousands of them up here. You, you're forever finding them in the window, window ledges and that sort of thing. So we'll give these a blast and clear them out for this year. It's a very concentrated insecticide, but you use very little of it. And then that all uh, that spreads into all the voids, all the nooks and crannies, and then these all, the first thing these will want to do is get out. We need doing again next year and the year after that and the year after that, but, uh, but it's not too bad. Right, should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Dave secures the loft hatch. But just to make sure that not too many flies come in, We'll pop a bit of this tissue paper. This bit has more. to be a team effort. When I say go, fire the machine up. Go. Okay, that'll do. Oh, there's one coming through. Yeah, there's a couple here. 
that have come down from upstairs. Their death throws remind Matthew of some of his moves on the dance floor. Yeah, I like to break dance on the odd occasion, Christmas parties and that. The chemical affects the nervous system. That's why you get this, this spinning about and, and erratic behaviour. It just overloads the nervous system and, and that's it, they, they go down. Father and son are bonding now, but it wasn't always so. I must have been about six. And we went for a family uh, walk through Burford and he came across a wasp nest and um, he had me on his shoulders got me down and he hit the wasp's nest and darted off and left me there and I got stung. It wasn't like that at all. It was in a, it was in a willow tree and I just poked it with my walking stick. I said, I reckon there's a wasp's nest in there. I poked it with my stick and, and it was and a few came out so I legged it. Well, he wasn't quick enough, so what could you do? Oh, yeah. It's the last flight of the cluster flies and Dave knows the ending. Oh, we feel terrible now. Look at them dying. There's a fair few coming out. The birds will love them. Dave now turns his thoughts to the real battle of the day. He's been done very well. We'll see what happens when it comes to the mole caching competition, but uh, I'm sure he'll add a couple of unlucky ones that'll have gone into his traps. <laughs> In the Cotswolds, father and son are close to the reckoning. Who's won the mole trap contest? Right, let's go see what we've got. There you go. One nil to dad. Right, one. one. Yeah, and another one. That's two for dad. They're not doing too bad. Yeah, so it's good. Now Dave shows why experience counts. Hey! Yeah, double. I told you, see more than one will use a, use a travelling room. That's yours, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. Look at that, eh? A good sense of achievement, yeah. Yeah. But Matthew is making a comeback. It's definitely one of my ones. So look at that. Oh. The proof comes when he's doing it on his own, see? Dave checks the last trap. Look at that. The master strikes again. Matthew's got three, but what about Dad? Ten, then twelve. A dozen. It's a dirty dozen. That's not bad. There's a lot of people that say, oh, poor little mole, but they'd soon, they'd soon bitch if it was digging up their lawn. Dig a hole, we'll bury them. Matthew is trying to be thorough. We're only burying some moles, we haven't bury a yeah, cat. No, no, but you don't want it to show, do you? But has the son convinced the father? Yeah, he'd be all right, yeah, he'd... Uh, I say, you never stop learning, but he's, he's getting there, he, he'd, he'd be all right. He'd... And has the father convinced the son? If he wants to in the future, then... the door's always open, you know? Matthew Looking has good. started on the long road to all-round successful pest control. Right then, let's go do the rat bait. Right. 